All right, this is our final little video regarding weighted average cost of capital. And we're going to be looking at this number right here, very specifically. And we're going to be looking at the equation that we use to get there. And the equation just simply states that B12, percentage of debt, times cost of debt, B15, plus uh, percentage of equity, B13, times cost of equity, B16, gives us a weighted average cost of capital. So you can see the equation, see how it functions. You can see how we arrived, we got this number and this number from our process that we went through over here on cost of debt and cost of equity. And we've got the, the, the other piece of this from this number and this number. So as you can see, this is a pretty basic uh, Excel spreadsheet that you can set up and design to look at these types of equations and to understand weighted average cost of capital. Uh, this uh, specific Excel, Excel spreadsheet is, is available uh, on ANGEL in the uh, file for this lesson. So you'll be able to plug your own numbers in here, play around with it. And what you may want to do is uh, go out and look at a couple of different businesses uh, look through their uh, their pro forma and balance sheets and look at a way to pull this information together. Uh, beta numbers are available um, a bunch of different places on publicly traded companies. Nova, uh, as an example, we found this beta information on this company on uh, the uh, Yahoo website. So Yahoo uh, finance has a lot of information regarding this type, these types of uh, pieces that you would plug into doing a calculation. Uh, Yahoo Finance should also be able to give you like market cap, market capitalization number on a company, or at least, at the very least, provide you with uh, outstanding share balance. So you can use this uh, as a way to do some analysis on businesses. This is a little more sophisticated than what you will probably need uh, to do an analysis on a small company, but it'll give you an idea of, of how to think about growing and uh, to understand if you start a business, if you decide to start a business that's focused on uh, something you want to build into something you want to sell at some point in time, uh, the people that get involved in investing in those companies, uh, they understand this process. They use it on a daily basis. This is a pretty simple form because if you get into a larger company, uh, there's a lot more pieces in play here that help you figure out these numbers and these numbers. Um, so it it's, gets to be pretty complex after a while. I hope this is a good example for you. Um, please uh, feel free to, you know, ask questions, send me stuff. If you have uh, interest in this area, I can direct you towards uh, uh, better understanding through some different uh, finance textbooks you might want to consider buying uh, that'll help you to get a better feel for understanding this whole process when it comes to uh, this critical part of business analysis. All right, we're going to move on to the next lesson.